Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can push your docker image for a test flask app to AWS ECR using Jenkins. So let's begin. So we're going to automate this pipeline and we're going to uh, let Jenkins automatically push the code from test flask repository right here, which I have made inside my GitHub account. And we're going to build the image for this, a docker image for this, and then going to push it to AWS ECR. So we're going to see how we can automate this using Jenkins. So let's begin. So first of all, go to the Jenkins dashboard. And now here, first of all, we have to create a pipeline. So for this, we can create a pipeline using new item. And then we can create a pipeline. We can name it something like test or something you want. Then you can click on OK, and this will create the pipeline. All right, so I have to set up my general configuration for my pipeline now. If you want to set up a trigger, you can set up triggers. You can build it periodically or maybe using a GitHub hook trigger or pole SCM. But I'll just keep it manual for now. And going down, we can choose the pipeline script here or I can choose the script from SCM. So I'll just choose the script from SCM and for the SCM, that, that is going to get for me. For the repository URL, I can just pay, copy and paste the my repository URL. And since this is just a public URL, I'm not going to use credentials for this. For the branch, I can use main and i can remove the star to explicitly refer to my main branch all right so now i'm going to save this configuration and my pipeline is ready to work all right so first of all we have to install some plugins for actually working with aws so go to dashboard for jenkins and then go to manage jenkins section in the manage jenkins we can see uh go down and see the plugin section right here click on plugins and you can see we have in the available plugins i think i had installed aws here so it should be present here which will be present in installed plugins actually yeah so for installing the aws plugin you can search aws in available plugins and it should return us an aws credentials plugin which we're going to use for this so the plugin which i've installed here is the aws credential plugin which i'll just show you here All right, so this is the plugin we require for actually setting up AWS account credentials inside Jenkins, AWS credentials plugin. All right, so let's move on to the next part. So now we'll create a credentials for our AWS account. So for that, we can again head to manage Jenkins. With the manage Jenkins, we can have Alright, so now I can head to my credential section and then create a global domain variable here. Now click on add credentials and in the kind I can select AWS credentials here. For the ID, I can just keep it something like AWS creds. For the description, I can skip it. For the access key ID and secret access key, you need to have your AWS account handy now. So I'm going to go inside my AWS account and show you how you can access these. So first of all, head up, head up to your AWS console and then in the profile section, you can see security credentials here. Go to this area and then scroll down until you see something like access keys here now i can create an access key here and then clicking on create access key and here i have created it so i'll just copy the access key here and paste it right here and the secret access key as well and i'll just paste it here perfect so i'll just create this credential now all right so i have created this credential now we can move forward and work with our actual jenkins file which is present inside our github repository so, so for this, I've already set up a Docker file, which is a standard Docker file for a Flask app, which just have some instructions like inputting the Python image and then working directory is being set to slash app, copying the requirements.txt and installing the requirements, copying it from the root to root and exposing the 5000 port. Then I'm going to run the command, which is Python app.py, and it's going to work great. All right, so let's move on. So now we can uh, actually make our Jenkins file. So for the Jenkins file, I have to create a file named Jenkins file, which I've already created here. So we're going to edit this file now. All right, so I'm going to show you how you can create a Jenkins file, which will actually push your built image to AWS ECR. So let's start building it. All right, so first of all, we can create the pipeline block, which is the top level block inside a Jenkins file, and then we can set the agent to any. Moving forward, we can set some environment variables in the environment block. All right, so I'm going to set some variables like AWS region, which is going to be since my credentials are for US East, if and if I select that something like AP South one, 
and let's see if we have those credentials here or not all right so we have that credential so that's perfect so we can move with our ecr account here which is present inside the ecr service so i can search in for ecr and inside go inside the repository so i, I do not ha i have a repository actually which is named test so i'm going to use this repository for this purpose so for now i will make the aws region as ap south one and now i'm going to i'm going to name another variable which is image name which is going to be something like test flask app or something like that whatever you want to keep moving forward we can have the repo name which is going to be test in my case because i've already made the repo with that name all right perfect so we have defined our environment variables now we can move forward to the stages and for the stages first of all we can have the stage for checkout so i'll just make a checkout stage here and in the checkout stage we can have the steps which are just simply one step which is get and then the url of our github repository all right perfect so that the, those were the steps for checkout and then we can move forward to the next stage which is setting image tag because we need to tag our image to aws account in order to push it to aws ecr all right so now i'll just tag the image here tag the image and i'll define the tags here so for this i can have um something like for first of all i can define the steps and in the steps i can go for having a script which will declare my image tag which is just going to be something like latest i think that that seems good all right so now we can move on to the next stage now after tagging the image we can have stage this stage is going to be about logging into ecr log into ecr and now we can have the steps here for the steps first of all we can now refer to our aws credentials here so for the credentials we can have i actually i think i forgot uh no i did not all right okay all right so for the steps we can first of all have our aws credentials here which is with aws and then for the region we can set it to our environment variable so that's going to be dollar sign and then parenthesis then we're going to have env dot aws region which was our variable name in the environment block all right so after this after, the, after defining the region we can move forward to the credentials part for the credentials i can just write something like credentials and the credentials are going to be aws creds this is, this is the creds id which we chose in jenkins all right perfect so we have def, uh, used our aws credentials here and with these credentials i'm going to run some commands so first of all in the powershell since I'm using a Windows machine, so I'm going to use Windows commands. If you're using Linux machine, you can just use SH for shell commands. All right, so I'm going to run some commands in PowerShell now, which, is, which are going to be inside these three apostrophes. So first of all, I'm going to run a command, which is $ecr login. So this is going to be a variable name. So I'm going to name it something like AWS ECR get login password hyphen hyphen region all right so for this you need to have aws cli installed in your system as well if you do not know how to install aws cli you can refer to our previous videos and where uh, we i have taught you how you can install aws cli inside your system all right so i have now for now i've defined the ecr login command right here that's perfect and after the region I can refer to the region as well so for the region um, it's going to be something like my environment uh, my environment variable itself so that's going to be environment.aws region perfect so after this command i can run another command which is docker login command which will actually log in our machine inside our aws ecr command so for that 
it's going to be docker login hyphen hyphen username which is aws and hyphen hyphen password is going to be some uh the secret for our ecr login so that's going to be ecr login and after that we have to refer to our uh to our actual repository url so that's going to be present right here so i can just copy it here and then i can paste it here with an H HTTPS. and i think that's it so i have set the command for logging to ecr the next step is just pushing the image so what i'm going to do is move out of this stage now and then i can set another stage here so for the stage um we can have something like and one more thing that we need to remove the repository name here we just need to have our account url uri basically all right moving forward we can have something like uh, another stage which is building docker image so i'll just name the stage as build docker image all right so moving with this stage we can define the steps for this and in the steps we can have something like powershell and then i'm going to define my commands so first of all i can have docker build hyphen t and then dollar e and e and v dot image name and then i can refer to the tag of that image which is which is going to be dollar e and v dot image tag all right so that is going to be my docker build command and after this i can actually refer to my docker file which is present at the root so i'll just put a full stop right here and after that i can tag this image so i'm going to use docker tag command doc tag and again i'm going to use this image because that's the name of the image that is being created now and then i can tag it to my repository url actually so that is going to be this right here i'm going to paste this here and i think that's perfect all right so and also i need to refer to the image tag which is going to be latest um yeah it's it is latest indeed so i'm going to tag my docker built image to this aws ecr account uri perfect so I, we after tagging that i think we can move forward to the next stage yeah, which is going to be something like um, the stage is named as pushing to ecr so i'm going to just name it push to ecr and now i can define the steps for this for the steps then i can run the powershell command here So the powershell command for pushing to ecr is going to be something like a simple command which is a docker push and then the tagged image right here so that is going to be this exactly so i'm just going to copy this and paste it here all right so this should be able to push our docker image to our aws ecr and i think our jenkins file is ready so i'm going to save this file now and now i'm going to try to build this docker image using our jenkins pipeline all right so now I'm going to click on build now now and let's see if our Jenkins pipeline works or not. All right, guys, one more thing. It says that um, hyphen hyphen password is insecure. Use password standard in. So I'm just going to use that inside my Jenkins file. So for this, I can use password standard in. And also I have missed a region somewhere. So I'm going to look out where did I miss that so i think i've missed it here all right so i'm gonna refer to this using my parentheses and i think i would have missed it somewhere else as well just like this and i think i should be good now All right, guys, so as you can see, the build has been completed successfully. So hopefully we should see the image being pushed to AWS ESR account now. So I'll go to my ECR now and just see if the image is present right there or not. 
and i'll go inside this and yeah so you can see i have the latest tag here which is exactly the tag we had used for our jenkins docker build so that's perfect we have successfully pushed our docker image to our aws ecr account from jenkins using automation so yeah guys that's it for the video and thanks for watching